many of the tadpoles are now getting their legs both back and front, which means they'll need to come out of this tank and into this tank. But that's easier said than done. Welcome to this week's episode of Frogwatch. The frog that you may have seen in last week's video is already in the frog tank, but there are three more that need to come out of the water. Can you spot a problem? Yes, they're sitting right at the bottom of the tank where I can't get them. I have to wait for them to swim to the top of the tank where I can scoop them up. It's not an easy task, and it becomes a race against time as the longer they're in the water, the higher the risk of drowning. By this stage their gills will have disappeared and they now rely on their lungs completely. They can easily tire themselves out swimming and eventually they won't have the energy needed to get to the top to breathe. Well, the downsides of having so much uh, plants in there is they're quite difficult to get to, but they do use the plants to uh, rest on to get to the top, so they are useful. And this is why you need a lid on your tank. They are very good at climbing the sides and will often escape if you're not careful. But take a look at the shape of this frog. It has a thin triangular body. This is not how a healthy frog should look like. After it's absorbed its tail, it will often look thin like this. So now it needs feeding. So once frogs have all four legs, they are then ready to leave the water. I'll let you try and get them the same day if possible, or as soon after that as I can. Uh, it's not an easy task to scoop them out from the water, um, but it's, it can be done, and uh, now all my tadpoles that are ready have moved into the frog tank. Now while they have that tail, you don't need to worry about feeding them. They use that tail as an energy source, as it absorbs back into the body. But once that tail has been completely absorbed, they will then be hungry and they definitely need to be fed. Now I found that the best food for this stage of frog is aphids. Uh, aphids are the perfect size for the frogs at this stage and they move about just enough for the frogs to notice them. At this stage frogs need living, moving food. So earlier today I went out into the garden in search of aphids to be able to feed our brand new frogs. Now these nettles are absolutely covered in aphids, but one thing I haven't been able to find out is whether frogs can get stung by nettles. Now my thinking is that I've seen adult frogs in and around these nettles and nettles over in other parts of my garden and uh, they seem fine, they seem happy in the undergrowth. And nettles are so covered in various forms of invertebrate life that they are perfect hunting grounds for frogs. So I'm thinking it's probably going to be okay. However, they will sting me. So I'm going to get some gloves and we'll try and get one of these leaves that are covered in aphids and we'll pop it into the tank with a frog.
the frogs have been a little bit camera shy and I haven't been able to catch them eating on camera. It has happened, uh, just not in front of the camera. Uh, but these aphids should keep them going for some time. The next stage of food will be crickets, but they're not ready for that just yet. Uh, but by next week, hopefully we should have a lot more tadpoles ready to move into the frog tank. And um, hopefully between now and next episode, I'll have caught them eating on camera. Uh, so if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and you come back next week uh, for more Frog Watch. But that is all we have for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, do let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section. I've really been enjoying reading all your comments and answering your questions. Uh, so if you do have any questions, you know, stick them down in the comment section. I'll, I'll try and answer them. Um, but so yeah, apart from that, I hopefully will see you next week. Um, goodbye.